This one is called Yeah Yeah. How about that? Here we are, Joaba Thursday. Today, I'm going to talk about and play stuff from this upcoming festival in Houston, fucking Texas. Right there, Destroying Texas Fest. With all those bands, you're going to be able to hear all those bands today, possibly see some of them live. Now, just like with any other fest, you're not going to like every band that plays. So I've, I haven't heard, I've never heard some of these. So who knows? I might not like a, might not like some of them, but that's every fucking fest, right? Uh, you're not going to like every single fucking band. But there are some bands I know I definitely do like. And the main headliners, Marathon and Hellwitch, uh, both are two of the best like live bands I've ever seen. Uh, and that's, it's cool. Uh, and Evil Incarnate, never I don't think they've ever played Houston. Uh, so yeah, there you go. All, and, uh, I, don't, I don't think this one has all the bands on there. I think I got some old flyer or whatever, but I do have all the bands that are playing. Um, so there you go. So what's up, everybody? Wade, Teddy, Tommy, Walter, Grim, no baloney ends alone. Um, so there you go. Yeah, Evil Incarnate. Here's a fun fact about Evil Incarnate. Their old drummer, I don't know, was he the original drummer? Might have been Andy, Andy Vinicamp from, uh, he played on the early Evil Incarnate stuff. He actually played on the first HRA album, which my man HRA, he played he played with us on our first album, recorded it. And so he ended up moving from Chicago area to Houston and ended up jamming with him. Fucking great drummer. Really good drummer. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Anyway, I did uh, see if anybody shows up. Uh, this guy's about to get banned already. So you be you behave yourself, little boy. Behave yourself. But yeah, so I'll be there. Uh, I don't know. I know Evan Williams. I think that yeah, he usually is hanging around. I know he said he was going to be going. Uh, I'm not sure who else is going to be there, but. Should be cool. So I guess I'm just going to play in order of the set times or the, the way that their band, the order of the bands on the show. So we'll start off. I think Trenchant from Austin is opening up the show on Saturday. I think it's at five o'clock. I think first band's at five o'clock. So check it out. This is uh, from the their album, Commando Cult. This is the title track.
There you go. Trenchant Command Occult from March 2022, as you saw there. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Austin, Texas band. Uh, opening the show on Saturday, or the Fest. If you're just joining us, this is the Fest. It's during Texas Fest in Houston this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. BFE Rock Club. Rock Club! Uh, oops. Uh, yeah, Pro Fanatica is actually playing here on Monday also. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Um, yeah, so there we go. All right, so after Trenchant on Saturday is a band called Sacrileja, 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 Sacrileja. I don't know where they're from. Never heard of them. I'm going to hear them right now for the first time. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I won't. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you won't. Uh, this song is called Burning Conquest. Burning Conquest. Let me know if you like it.
there you go. Sacrileja, sacrileja. Uh, I don't know if that was drum machine or not. I know the kick sounded very clicky, uh, which is kind of weird because the overall the recording is super raw. But for some reason, the kick drums sound like they had a lot of, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, triggers. That's the word I'm looking for. Triggers. The kick sounded triggered out like a motherfucker. So, which is odd. I don't know. But there you go. Uh, oh, there you go. I didn't know that. So, Sucker Lai is from California. I have a right to macabre demo released by Antimo uh, in, from Vomit Records. Uh, Antimo was cool enough to release ETD on tape in Mexico. I mean, on CD in Mexico, which you need to go get. I don't have any, but you need to go get some copies somewhere, wherever it's available. Uh, also, Antimo, last week I played his band Castellumbra, which was fucking heavy as fuck. You need to go check out his band Castellumbra. Castellumbra. Look him up. Uh, there's a show this weekend. Yes, there is a show this weekend. It's at the BFE Rock Club. And Aaron, actually, Go Throw Records will be vending. Uh, they will be vending at the fest along uh, amongst other people, I'm sure. But go buy some stuff from Aaron. Tell him hi. Uh, get his autograph. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Yes, um, that's what I'm talking about right now, Evan Williams. Uh, but that fucking comment probably just popped up. Anyway, uh, 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 yes, Aaron will be there amongst other people. Yes. All right. So that was Sacrileja, Sacrileja. After them, on Saturday, make sure I got this right. Let me see if I got this right. Yes, Evil Incarnate. Evil Incarnate will be there. Third, they will be playing at, according to this, at 7.30 p.m. So this is a song called Bound in Angel Flesh. <laughs> Yeah. 
Twisted Lips Over the land and the cross to seas Big and full of misery Lost our safety where we will destroy These are the keys of love Heavy can chaos leave upon the earth A cloud that covers the land Concentrate to get on this real Witness from the Jerusalem This book, it shall be This book, it shall be written in blood That's always cool. They're playing Saturday. Let me see. Let me go through that. Let me go through the. I haven't done the actual lineups. Uh, I probably should have saved this photo, but I did it. Uh, so Saturday, the bands playing are Trenchant, which I played, Sacrileja, Evil Incarnate, Abysmal Lord, Ars Kingdom, Act. Atlas, Atlas, I don't know, and Veratron. That's Saturday's lineup. Sunday's lineup includes True Iron Will, Ossuary, Caveman Cult. Speaking of Caveman Cult, uh, they have a new demo. I think they're going to have copies at the show. It fucking kicks ass. 2023 demo. It's up on YouTube. Oh, I'm actually going to play a song from, from that here in a while. Unholier, which is Carlos's band, Antichrist Siege, Mach Siege Machine, Hell Witch, and Revenge. Well, there you go. Uh, after Evil Incarnate is Abysmal Lord. Here's a song off their latest album. The song is called Glowing Baphomet.
Invisible Lord rules. What's up, Grant? Mr. Grant, as Fraser calls him, Mr. Grant. Uh, but yeah, Invisible Lord kicks ass. Uh, they are playing Saturday. They're part of the Saturday lineup. Uh, all right. Where are we at now? Where are we at? Where are we at? All right, so after Abysmal Lord, uh, there's going to be, there he is, the DJ himself. Uh, did Blasphemy get their W-2s from them? Yes. Abysmal Lord does that. They're, they're probably the best ones to do that. Uh, 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 now I feel like going and turning over some fucking headstones and doing some grave desecration after listening to that. All right, so this is Aris Kingdom, Priest of Palace. Check it out, Aris Kingdom.
There you go, Iris Kingdom. Uh, apparently, I picked a fucking instrumental. Wasn't familiar with that release. So I think that's the latest one that they have. Uh, latest album. So, yeah, Poser Alert on me. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's hard to write an instrumental that's that's actually catchy and catches and you know keeps your attention. And I think they did good on that one. So, you know, there you go. So that speaks highly of them if they can write an instrumental that doesn't suck. All right. Next band. This is gonna be the next to last band on. Saturday, very little local. Uh, the band is called, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's A K H L Y S, Aklis, Aklis. I think they're from Colorado. Correct me, chat. Are they from Colorado? Where are they from? Not familiar with this band. I couldn't read their logo for shit, but uh, here we go. This song is called Tides of uh, Oniric Darkness.
had enough of that fucking outro. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That band was. Let me go. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Uh, Ackley's. There you go. From Denver, Colorado, apparently. They're going to be appearing Saturday in Houston at Destroying Texas Fest. So, yeah. Oh, all right. So, headlining on Saturday night, all the way from Greece. Uh, I would say they pretty much, you know, people, I mean, I, was writing, I like old writing Christ, no doubt about it. But as far as that Greek sound, those riffs, it was all Verathron. Verathron did that uh, earlier on, I would say, than writing Christ. And Verathron never... You know, they kind of stayed totally underground and evil and, you know, playing shit like this. Ronnie Christ wouldn't play a fest like this. Ain't no fucking way. Uh, so, better throw them rules. One of, the, one of the best live shows I ever saw was to them. And this is a very thrown song called Into... The Absurd. I think this was from a couple of years ago, two, three years ago. I mean, I could easily play something classic, but no, I'm going to play something fairly new.
destroys anything, no pun intended, or maybe it was, anything Rotting Christ does nowadays. And that was from probably four or five years ago, I think. Uh, just fucking awesome. Awesome fucking band. Necro Abyssius, Stefan the Vocalist, fucking rules. Total, total, total maniac, total underground. You know, bands that, that fucking stay like that, just fucking rule. So, um, I'm actually psyching myself out to see him again on uh, on Saturday. It's gonna be badass. It's gonna be fucking badass. Fraser, your poser ass better go. Uh, but yeah, hey, uh, crazy white boy, dude. That's gonna. I, I don't know if you've seen him before, but fucking great live show, man. Great live. Well, you know, uh, last time I saw them, I saw him twice in Houston, and Carlos brought him down both times. But. Uh, the last time I played them, I played them, I saw them, they played all old shit. So basically demo stuff up to like, like the first album, maybe something for the second, second album. But it was fucking unreal. Unreal. First time, dude, it's going to be fucking awesome. No doubt about it. They were super tight. Just fucking riff after riff. You know, the fucking, those fucking riffs. Um uh, uh, da, 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 da. Go vomit necromancer. Hell yeah. Grease had a lot of bands. New RC is awful. I I, I mean I, I dropped off of them fucking way back. But uh but yeah, fucking Bertron are the kings of Greek fucking underground black metal. Uh, all right. Hold on. Somebody sent me a message. Oh, no. Uh, all right. So that was Saturday. RC Cola, duh. RC Cola, dumbass. So that was Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. So let's start with Sunday. So Sunday, this band is going to open up the show. I think this is a live clip. This is another band from Austin. So uh, Austin band is opening on Friday or Saturday. I keep saying Friday on Saturday. And an Austin band is opening on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs>
you go. True Iron Will from Austin. Uh, Roy, yeah, Lily. That was Lily playing guitar in that. Uh, man, I don't. Ooh. I don't know, brother. Uh, Roy might remember. Uh, oh, shit. Look at that, JD. Your flags came here today. Hell yeah. Get you some flags. Hey, Roy, I don't know if Roy still got that badass sell on, but even when he doesn't have a sell on, you get quality merch at a quality price from Necro Harmonic. So go to Necro Harmonic Big Cartel and get you some fucking heavy shit, right, Roy? Get you some heavy shit. Also, if anybody's coming in from out of town for uh, DTF, you should go to Sound Exchange while you're in town, too. Uh, go to Sound Exchange. Get you some jams. Got a lot of heavy-ass shit. So, yep. Go get it. Oh, oh. Hell yeah. All right. So after True Iron, Iron, fucking Texan comes out of me. After True Iron Will, it's going to be, it's going to be, let me look at my fucking lineup here. It's going to be Ossuary. I think this is the latest. Yeah, this came out this year. This is a EP called Forsaken Offerings. I think this band is from Wisconsin. Y'all correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. But anyway, this is uh, some death doomy stuff, I believe. So here we go.
There you go. That was Ossuary. That was 2023 release. It's an EP. It's got two original tracks, and they do actually they do a cover of Goat Lord. But you don't see too many covers of Goat Lord uh, these days or any days. Uh, yeah, that's right. The singer is it's female female vocalist. Uh, so there you go. I know my dude. Uh, my dude DJ Hellhammer was digging it. Uh, there you go. Cremation Ritual EP is sick for them. There you go. You guys know more about them than I do, but yeah, that's brand new. Go check it out. Uh, they are playing Sunday at DTF. And after them on Sunday, it's going to be these maniacs. Now, this is some brand new too. Caveman Cold Demo 2023. Um, they're going to be playing Sunday. And let's listen to a track from the brand new, I think it's just a couple of weeks ago, maybe at the most, last week. I don't know. But anyway, it's up on the YouTubes. You can check it all out, but buy it, all that shit, right? So, uh, Hey Man Called Demo 2023.
Hell yeah. Came back called Brand New Shit. I think I might have gone into two songs there, but whatever. It kicks ass. I dig it. And just so happen to have the man from uh, one of the sickos from Caveman Call. What's up, man? What's up, brother? Can you hear me? How you doing, man? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, well, you're, you're a little lagging, but we'll, we'll, we'll work through it. So, uh, so yeah, that was brand new, brand new demo. Just came out, what, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it came out uh, this week. Oh, this past week. This past week. Um, so you guys, uh, you guys recently did like a tour with, was it, was it Incan or who was it? I can't remember now. With Gold Horn Incantation. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That, that was that, uh, I remember, I, I think I talked to you about it. You said it went pretty fucking sick. Uh, yeah, real good. Yeah. I say, how was that? Uh, what'd you guys do like a couple weeks or a week's worth of shows? We did we did uh, exactly fourteen shows, so that was two oh, weeks. Fuck. Yeah, fucking hey, so no days off. No days off, fourteen days in a row. Fucking hey, so how yeah. was that? How how were you after day twelve? I, bro, I wanted to keep on going all the Hell whole yeah. fucking thirty fucking days. Damn, they played thirty shows. I think about yeah, about a whole month with fuck. with one day off. That's it. Fuck. Yeah, the only day off they took, yeah, the only day off they took was going from Colorado to fucking Seattle. That's it. Yeah, that's a pretty good stretch. Fucking Colorado, Seattle, but damn, dude, yeah. So that was uh, so you guys, um, you guys, I guess you you told me you're gonna be here Saturday. When are you coming into Houston? Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. We'll be there Saturday. Abysmal. Oh, Grant is Grant still playing with you guys in K-Man? Yeah, yeah. He's been, he's been with us for a few years now. Yeah, because I know when I saw you guys in Houston, he was in the lineup. I didn't even know. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I've known Grant for a little while, and uh, uh, but yeah. So is it still it's still the the four piece that I saw in Houston? Yeah, yeah. And the drummer. The same. The same band. Yeah. So the drummer. What is this? And then the, ask it. Is this the drummer? Your drummer is in Torch. Yeah, torch is torch is done, but yeah, he he also plays in in a in a in Abysmal Lord now. Oh, dude, that guy—he's been is, with Abysmal Lord for a minute. Yeah, that guy's that guy's pretty fucking sick, dude. Uh, I remember I was watching him when you guys were yeah. playing. I was like, oh fuck yeah, dude, this guy's that, he's got that style, you know, he's got it down. Um, he's also the same drummer for Shitstorm. Really? Damn. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you, you're him, the one that told me about Shitstorm. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's him and his brother. Oh, yeah? Okay, cool. cool. His brother does, yeah, the brother does vocals. Uh, Carl Carl from Pius Leva says that shit just destroyed his stereo. Fuck yeah, dude, that shit rips. <laughs> hey, hey, what did you guys, how do you guys record? I mean, that shit was, that shit was savage as fuck, dude. Yeah, we, we yo know, Rick Rick just bought a bunch of mics and shit, and yeah. and we recorded live live rehearsal. Damn, he mic'd everything up and fucking went to town. Hell yeah! On a, you yeah. know, on the computer and the whole night, he, he's he's learning yeah, yeah. how to do all that shit. So that was like a like a like a practice kind of thing, and they came out pretty fucking sick. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Hey, well, I know you guys are based in Florida, but you're originally from from New York, right? No, nah, I'm from Miami. I grew up in Miami. Grew up in Hialeah. All of Miami. us are from Miami. Oh, yeah. you know why I thought that? Because you and I, we chatted for about an hour about fucking hardcore music and like New York hardcore. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I grew about... up on all that New York stuff, among other among other things, you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember we were talking when I, when I yeah, first I'm... met you. Yeah, we talked a lot about, about fucking straight ahead and all that shit. Ah, I love that shit, man. Oh, yeah. I love that yeah. shit. I know it. Rest, right. rest in pieces. Rest, rest in, in pieces. pieces. Yeah. yeah. Absolution. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a bunch oh, of fucking shit. bands that, that 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 were fucking great. That that came out of that were not as big as as the Chromax or Agnostic Front, but still great bands. 
Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, so what? So you, you, what? Because uh, Miami. I mean, I don't really hear. Uh, I mean, from there, you guys are at. What other? You know, you, you mentioned shitstorm and and whatnot, but is there any other bands out there that that you think should be people should be checking out from that area? Yeah, there's a, there's there's not that many bands that do anything that what we do, but there, there's there's definitely some death metal down here. Hell, Hell which is from down here. Fuck, well, I mean that's fucking legends, dude. Legends, yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh Bill Baloney says he's actually wearing a rest in pieces shirt right now. Fucking sick. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, Hell Witch. What else? Bro, I'm telling you, shit, there ain't that, man, I'm, I'm fucking drawing, a, this band called No Coffin, they're pretty fucking sick. Oh, yeah, oh, uh, no Carl says, Miami rules, it's home of Morbid Mario, you know Morbid Mario? Yeah, I know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know him too well, the drummer knows him pretty good. Yeah, yeah. He's but a, yeah, he's I know a, who you're talking about. I've talked to that dude a couple times, he's been around since the fucking 80s, I think, that yeah, guy. Yeah, he's an old school cat right there, dude. Yeah, man, Morbid Mario. Yep, yep. Morbid Mario. Yeah, I just so. seen him recently at the Morbid, when Morbid Angel played over here. I just saw him at, the, at that show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. My boy Roy from Necro Harmonic says, "Hell, caveman cult." Hell yeah, man. Hell to you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy Roy. <laughs> my Jeez. boy Roy right there. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, are you that's in? So uh, cool, you in uh, Got some of the strong ass shit from my uh, New Orleans Andigator. If you never tried this, is some strong fucking beer, here. Eh? Oh shit! Nolans, you gotta say Nolans. Is that how they say it in New Orleans? Yeah, Nolans, 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 man. Nolans, Nolans. Oh, oh, so uh, somebody want to ask about the suit? Have you ever not worn it on stage? Yeah, I've, I've worn nothing, just no shirt. I've done that before. Yeah. One time. I That's mean, yeah, it. dude, if, if you've never seen these guys live, just just expect the total barrage of just – expect. it's like you get your ass beat, you know, sonically. Just get your ass fucking beat up. That, that's what Caveman Cult is, what, was like when I saw them. So uh, – yeah, uh, do you know? Are you? Do you know the band Vacuous Depths? Nah, I do not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, never more rules. That guy rules. He came down to Houston for a show. He's from somewhere far away from Houston. So what's up, man? Uh, my buddy JD. JD. Uh, he's a drummer at ETD and the. Uh, uh, he's in Hex A and all that shit. He said y'all should play South Texas. Have you guys played South Texas before? Like down in the valley? Nah, we never. Like where at? Like literally like 10 minutes from the Mexico border. We, we played El Paso okay, one yeah, time. Well, yeah. But yeah, well, I mean like deep south. Like, yeah, that's west. But yeah. But uh, I think uh, JD, I think you should get somebody to bring him down there, dude. Like uh, Fuck yeah, man. uh uh there's a lot of maniacs out there, uh fucking uh uh Christian and Davy and all those guys. Uh Jer uh Haroldo, you know Harold, you know any of the Maruta people? Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah. That those those are homies. I've known those guys for a long time. Yeah. The uh, singer's so guys... in, in in LA, he lives in LA now. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's been in LA for a while. So you guys and, and, and another. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, we're lagging. Go ahead. Another band from down here that, that I might have told you about that, but that deserves to fucking get heard is this band called Hibernus Mortis. Hibernus Mortis. Yeah. Okay. They just put out a record recently. They've been around since the '90s. They used, they kind of sound like Incantation, real he real heavy, real fucking heavy. Okay. Maybe I'm sure yeah. maybe somebody in the chat has heard of. Have you guys heard of Hibernus Mortis? Uh so you guys are playing Sunday. Uh what 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 what's the set looking like? What uh what what do you guys got planned? 
we're, we're, we're basically doing the same set we've been doing for a while, but we're, we're bringing one of the, like the, the first song that we ever wrote as a band. We're, we're playing that first and okay. we might play another song that we, that we haven't played live ever before. It depends if we, we don't fuck it up in rehearsal. So that's kind of what it's looking like right now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, have you played you played any of the DTS before? You have, right? Yeah, one time. Yeah. One time. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, a few years back. That we played the one with Sabat. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the one is that the one that got hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. That was that was at the BFE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I was at I think I was at that one, yeah. I think I was at that yeah, one. Yeah, I was I was pretty fucking sick watching Sabat. Live, <laughs> that was fucking pretty sick. Yeah, those guys. Uh, yeah, I think those. They usually, man, surprisingly, they've been to fucking Houston a lot of times. So, no just, yeah, they've been they've been over here. They them and their other band. What's that other band they have? Metal Lucifer. Right. Yeah, that's so the same people. The, I think so. Yeah. Yep. I could be wrong. I can give myself a poser alert, but I think I'm right. Um. All right, Death Lord. He wants to know: Is do you have a favorite song to play live with the band? Oh, yeah, man. Outer of Crushed Enemies has always been a favorite of mine. There you go. Uh, just it's rock that infest and very, and very violent. Just rock that infest shirt and destroy every other band. Hell yeah! Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm correct. Infest yes. fucking rules, man. Infest fucking rules, dude. This, this, uh, they, this, they this, played, uh. They, go ahead. They played Miami when they when they got back together. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking insane, dude. Insane. They're so like tight live. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. This this uh this infest song goes out to Fraser. It's called Why Don't You. Fuck off! There you go. That's for you, Fraser. <laughs> Shit. So this is this the first show you played since that tour? Nah, nah, nah. We've been playing shows, but you been, but you been playing on locally. And okay. uh, and we did and we did some Florida shows with Good Whore a while back. Oh, okay, they, they, okay. We did like like three shows in Florida with them, like Orlando, Tampa. And, and Miami, they came down and we did a few shows with them. And, yes. uh, and now we're going to go back to Tampa next month and play uh, Born Free Pub. I don't know if you ever heard of Born Free Pub. It's a it's it's mm. it's a it's a pub. The owner, the, you might remember this guy's band. He he was in a band called Crisis. They're from New York, a New York band. I think I, yeah, that same sounds familiar. Yeah, they they came out on that compilation, Cry Now, Cry Later. I don't know if you remember oh, that yeah. compilation. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was like a mid '90s cop, I think, right? Yeah, it had a yeah. a bunch of fucking bad cattle press. Everybody was in that shit. A lot, a lot of good bands. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Lack of band, few, all those. Yeah, kind yeah, they. Kind of fucking bad. Yeah. Yep. Uh, hold on. Roy says, "Oh, Roy says my man Ed Ortiz speaks high of you." Yeah, man, that's my boy, man. That's good people right there, man. Yeah, you played awesome. Yeah, you played awesome before. Uh, now, you so growing up in Florida. I mean, I know you say you were in the Miami area. What what is uh, so what is the Miami scene kind of like now, or like because you know everywhere yeah, around the world, we always heard about tap. Tampa and Tampa and Tampa and Tampa. And that's all you ever heard, right? So what's it like nowadays? Oh, I think Cat cattle press, yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? I think you I think we're breaking up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cry now, cry later. Yeah, you're breaking up. Log off. If you can hear me, log off and log back on. And we'll bring you back, my man. So here you go. That's cool. He was able to join us last minute. Hopefully he can log back on. But yeah, that's uh, Harold from uh, Caveman Cult. He's also in a couple other bands I wanted to ask him about. But 
see if he can jump back on. So, but in the meantime, uh, what was the last shit I played? Oh, Gabe Van Cope. All right, so this is Unholier, which is Carlos, the guy that's putting the show. This is his old band. They're playing the show. This is from 1993 demo.
That's actually called Revelations of the She uh, O. So it's S H E O H, not She O. <laughs> but yeah, that, they were Monterrey, Mexico. Uh, that's Carlos that puts on DTF. He was at Sacro Curse, uh, Nodens. Uh, what other bands has already been in a ton? Anyway, so we got my man Harold back, lost the signal, but here he is. Hell yeah. So uh, I think we were talking about like uh, like the old, you know, back in the day, all you heard about was Tampa, Tampa, Tampa. And I don't know if you yeah. were ever around, if you were ever around the Tampa area yeah. back then or anything like that. But uh, I, li uh, I lived there when I was a kid. Oh, OK. So there you go. So what was uh, so what, what was somebody growing up in that area at that time? What was what was it actually like? I was I was a teenager, so I didn't get to see any fucking shows, but I used to go to Aces Records a lot. Yeah, that's a legendary know. fucking place, yeah. I got I got, I used to a buddy of mine that I used to work with, we used to used to work at that record store. So bro, I I used to go in I used to grab my mom's my mom's car and fucking go to the old smart flea market. That's where it was. It was in a flea market. No shit. And I would drive yeah, it was in a flea market, like not in Tampa, like in like in, in the outskirts of Tampa. And I would drive out there and fucking bug the fuck out looking at all the crazy records they had, man. They had everything. They had everything in that place. Aces Records, yeah, man. That was fucking legendary. All, all the old things was Frank and Aces Records. Frank and Aces yeah, Records, right? So, yeah. uh, I, I uh, remember James Murphy. I remember James Murphy worked in that place when, yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Him and, him and uh, I think David Vincent, I think, worked there. I believe so. Uh, there you go. Yeah, Roy. Roy, you, he just answered you. Roy James Murphy did work there. Yeah. Uh, I remember. I remember going in there one time and James Murphy asking me, "Hey, do you want to hear the new Death record? It was spiritual healing. It hadn't come out yet." And I remember I was like, "Fuck yeah, I want to hear it." And he played it. <laughs> he, he played it. I was like, "All right, it's fucking good, man." Yeah. Wow, that's badass. All right, hey, let me let, let me bring on my 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 buddy my. Uh, our, our good friend from San Antonio, Texas, Carl Necro. What's up, Carl? What's going on, dude? How's it going? You familiar? You know, uh, you familiar with Caveman Carl? Cult? Oh yeah, I got uh, a CD or two by the band. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is uh, I don't know, uh, Harold. I don't know if you know Carl's and Pius Levis. He's been in tons of bands over the years. Thorn Spawn. Uh, What's up, man? You know, many bands. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing good. Yeah, How yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, we played uh we pl uh, we played some of those a couple of those tracks, new K Man Cult tracks, and they were just fucking just obliterating. Dude, I, I like I told you, my ass fell asleep after work. Of course, I was you know late to the show, and I turned it on. That what was jamming. I was like, fuck, this destroys, dude. <laughs> my, my stereo was. <laughs> <laughs> but, Hell but, yeah! What, I was cool that you're doing a demo, dude. Like, yeah, because I know you can probably release something. But what made you decide to do a demo if you? I don't know if he asked you that already or no, I, I had, but that's cool. Like what, what's, you know, cause demo, that's cool. I like that. Why not? There you go. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? There you go. Fucking yeah. <laughs> witchcraft keeps putting out fucking demos. So why the fuck can't we? <laughs> <laughs> right on. I, yeah, I, I think we're going to steal your idea. I'm going to fucking do a pious leapers demo next, man. Shit. Two song demo coming out. Yeah. Hey, which I have no problem with that at all because I love that fucking band. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aces and Sound Idea are two of the best record stores ever. Yeah, I got to play Sound Idea one time in one of my old bands. Yeah, what's his name? Bob lives in Austin now. He's been here for a while. Yeah, Bob Cern. Yeah. Yeah, Bob Cern. Yeah, he was fucking Burrito, he was Burrito Records. Burrito Records, that's right. Put out some Put out some uh, uh, put out some some good shit, man. 
Cheers. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, Carl, you guys, you played the very first Destroying Texas Fest, right? Uh, one or two. I can't was remember that, exactly. I, was that one or two? The one was, with... Uh, I, I can't remember Destroyer. exactly which number it was, but yeah, it was with Destroyer 666. I think that was the very first one, yeah. Damn. I, I believe so. Very first one, 2006. It was at some other some other place. I think it was uh, like one of the last shows with Thornspawn with me. Around okay. That time. Yeah. So yeah, it was way back. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like uh, uh, Obeisance played. You guys played. Uh, was fuck, Disco the what? Throne on there? Man, I, dude, I, I don't remember the lineup. Yeah, I just yeah. remember. It yeah, was, it was cool because it's Destroyer 666. And, you know. 17 years ago now? Yeah. Isn't it crazy that 2006 was 17 years ago already? <laughs> I know, dude. And we're talking about like late 80s like it was yesterday, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, so, uh, but yeah. So you know, like 2006 is like yesterday, you know, it's like doesn't even seem that long ago. But seventeen years already. Fuck. I know, dude. When you when you when you actually count it, it's like fuck. You know, there's people nowadays say, "Yeah, back in the, the old school days of 2004." You know, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> yeah. I hear By you. 2004, I was like, "What? That's you know, I was already like, you know, no." Nah. But yeah, so yeah, that, that, that's fucking. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember you guys did play the. I think that was the very first one. I actually invited Carlos. I sent him the link, but they were actually having a unholier rehearsal at the moment. Mm. So I told him, hey, if they get done or whatever, just jump on and he could talk about the fest and all that shit and, you know, the history and all that shit. Because um, he's been doing it 17 years at least, you know? And I think the only year he didn't have one was. The the COVID fucking year, right? Probably so. Cancel. Yeah, he, yeah. He had to cancel. Yeah. yeah, but it was already booked, right? He just had to cancel. It was. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah, it was booked. A lot of shit was booked. But, yeah, I mean, uh, Cardos is like, 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 like Houston, like best underground promoter at this point. He's been doing it for a while. That's for yeah. damn sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, like. I mean, there's been a lot of fucking, like, bands you wouldn't think would ever play here that have played it, you know what I mean? Fucking Mortuary Drape. I mean, who ever thought Mortuary, <laughs> yeah, no shit. Mortuary Drape would play Houston, you know what I mean? And they were fucking great. I mean, I saw them, I was like, damn, dude. That, that's, uh, that's the DTF we played, Mortuary Drape. Yeah, dude, that was a good one. Fucking, uh, actually, Mortuary and Mortuary Drape played the same one, I think. If I remember correctly. Oh, no shit on the same fast? I think so, yeah. Fuck I think, yeah. yeah. I could be wrong, but I think they did. Um, but yeah, that was... They played the one with Shabbat. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Profanatica played that. Uh, the one with Sinai... I don't Sinai, think they played. Oh, okay. Well, the one with Sinai... Oh, the one with Sinai was the one Profanatica played, I believe. Sinai was fucking awesome. They were so fucking heavy. Uh, Cardiac Arrest was good there. Man, there's been a lot of good fucking bands. Uh, fuck, I can't remember that second. That second cyanide record is fucking pretty, pretty fucking heavy. Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, Descent into Hell, Descent to Hell, right? Yeah, the second, so. one, yeah, the second, yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. That one recently got uh reissued, I think, again, again, so, Shit. yeah, yeah. Them dudes are just fucking crushed that guitar tone, heavy, dude. That, re that record is definitely fucking. Heavy speaking shit. of uh speaking of like Chicago area stuff, uh if anybody's into old zines, uh Mark Sawickas from Impetigo, his old zine Uniforms recently got uh published on a uh, on a book, book format. So all the old all the old issues are in a book format and you can get the Mark already sold out of his copies, but uh uh you can get that shit from uh, Razorback Records, I believe. Uh, and, uh, if you're into like, you know, old zines and shit like that, all, you know, and books, if you're into reading, if you dumbasses <laughs> can read, then, uh, I said, but they do have pictures in them too. So if, even if you can't read, they have pictures in them. Hey, can but I not, show this zine, dude? This new one I got? What is that? 
Metal Execution, new head Whoa. split scene. It's pretty fucking oh, okay. cool, man. Yeah. You got um, At War and fucking Cadaver cool, Incubator, Euronymous, Hell Witch, Imprecation, Perdition Temple. Check it out. It even came with this fucking poster, man. Bro, I, used to, I used to go see. So, yeah, Dylan got a new zine out if you want to get it from Head Split. What was that, Harold? I used to go see Hell Witch fucking practice Hell, yeah. back in the day, man. Damn. I know yeah. I've, I've known I've known Pat since like since my early twenties. So I would go I would go hang out with them and, and watch them fucking practice and shit. And That's uh badass. I got I started oh. I started going I started going to see Hell Witch play like in the in the late eighties, man, when they were like a three piece. And yeah, man, they that they, they I always I always fucking love that band. They were always yeah. fucking great. They were always fucking great. Yeah, Nun Slaughter did play. That was the same. Uh, that was I saw that one too. Uh, been reading the Zine Mortuary from the nineties. I don't remember that one. Cool. Mortuary. Hmm. Oh yeah, that that it's Evil Speak Productions to get that uh, Uniforce book Zine book. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go get it. I mean, Mark had everybody in that. I think he started in 87, 87 to like 91 or something like that. Um, but yeah, man, that shit, that's cool as shit that people are, are, are doing that. Like, uh, it's kind of like a, a CD reissue or something like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Now that's Somewhat. cool as they put them on the whole book, you know, because you can fucking just read the whole fucking zine, you know, the whole history of it. Yeah, you could, you could, they got all the key bands in those like late eighties, early nineties zines. Exactly. Stuff. You sit there fucking take a shit and read an interview with Blasphemy in eighty nine. You know what I mean? That's what, yeah. what's better. What's better? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, she's missing right, so, Whiplash though, man. What about Whiplash? Whiplash from Jersey. Yeah. Hell yeah. What was that? Power and Pain. Fucking stage Absolutely. Guy. Absolutely, man. Total thrash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too. <laughs> <clears throat> Nailed to the cross is not a ripper from that one, too. Hey, did hey, you, yeah. uh, Carl, did you interview them back then? Whiplash. Whiplash? No. Oh, okay. Because no. Carl used to do a zine back in, like, what was it, 86, 87? 86, about 88, yeah. Okay. Mor morbid death zine. Morbid death zine. And it, that one, and it was that funny, one to bro, I heard you bring up Aces, and we had a... um. A big fucking advertisement on the back of the zine with Aces back in the day. Oh, in your zine? Yeah. Holy shit, uh, that's bad. More Angel. More, we we um, were in contact with more Angel back when they were cool dudes and all that. And they, they printed the zine for us one time. And they were like, hey, if you put this ad in here, you know, he said he'll help pay for it to print. So, we, hell yeah. So, yeah, we had that big Aces um, record shop. Fucking. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you, you I, got I, it there? Go ahead. Bro, my fucking fruit ripped up my whole zine. So was all I don't know if that fucking place Aces was big as fuck, man, but it, I remember I would go in there and I was, it, it looked so goddamn big to me. I don't know if it was big, but I was just a, <laughs> I was just a kid. So I was like, holy shit, this place is fucking insane. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that, that, yeah that, that's true. That's true of a lot of things. But yeah, to you, it's like, it's like, oh, fuck, you know. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Dude, the, yeah, bro, the, it, it was just, the, the, the Venom section alone was, like, fucking ridiculous. <laughs> well, I mean, there was nothing like walking into a record store, man. It's just fucking, just fucking whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Metal that record store Metal Haven. That record Haven. store in particular was something else, man. Yeah, Metal Haven in Chicago. I, I actually went to that in early 2000s, 2002, something like that. It was a cool fucking spot. Um, Caveman Cult live at Cathedral of the Black Goat in 2016 on YouTube is killer. So go check Fuck it out. Fuck yeah, man. Right in punks. Fuck yeah. We played um, that shit. Hell yeah. Uh, all right, so let's let's play. Let's play. Speaking of playing shit, let's play some shit right now. Uh, who was 
I just played unholier after unholier comes. Uh, let me see. I, I, I keep forgetting to keep this fucking list handy here. I'm fucking up. After unholier is Antichrist Siege Machine. And this is a song called Unleashed Hostility. Pretty fucking ripping. Yeah, dude, that was fucking heavy as hell, man. That was fucking. I, I, I dug the shit out of that guitar tone on that. It sounded really, really fucking, really good, really heavy. I mean, I wasn't familiar. Feel familiar? I've heard the name. I never heard it till now. I was like, "Whoa, that's pretty fucking." Yeah, I never good. heard that band either till now. But from, I, I had a different idea how they which, sound. Which, I was totally Richmond. wrong. What's that? They're from Richmond. They're from Richmond, where? Virginia. From Richmond, oh, okay. Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Richmond, yeah. Virginia, bringing the fucking heaviness. Yeah. <laughs> we we play. We play with them. We play with them early on when they started a couple times. They're good dudes. Okay. They're good dudes. Yeah, that was that was that was fucking cool. I even dug the video. You know, it's pretty fucking evil looking and shit. Yeah, so. it had that fucking cult feel. Had that vibe, you know. Yeah. Not like bony, like fucking absolutely. Real, you know? Oh yeah, not fake shit. The guitar player, the guitar player is from Tampa, originally. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody mentioned that earlier, actually. Uh, quite a showing of Florida talent on this fest. Glad to see that. Even ASM has Tampa origins. There you go. Uh, 
But yeah, that was fucking cool, man. So staying in Florida, how about we? Oh, hold on, before I, before we move on, I got a couple show announcements, man. I can't forget. Ooh, so tomorrow, Carl, you want to talk about this? Yeah, dude. Um, we're gonna do a little DSI thing tomorrow, and um, for this box speaking of set. Florida. Speaking of speaking Florida, of Florida right? yeah, transition. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um fucking Jeff Jeff Tandy actually helped help compile the book from this um box set. Okay. And I think like uh, he kind of helped work on it with the guys, so he's going to be on the show talking about that and we'll just be playing a bunch of classic DSI stuff along with them. You know, him talking about the book and the release and everything too. So we're going to do the whole yeah. DSI and talk about and it. Yeah. Tomorrow you have a time set yet, or is it'll be 10, um, 10 p.m. Texas time central? 10 p.m. So. Texas time. Check it out if you're into DSI, if you're into screaming ancient incantations, <laughs> yeah, then uh, tune in, motherfucker. And then on Saturday, my boy Roy is doing death metal podcast exclusive Norwegian death metal. Death metal, there was some good Norwegian death metal too that. Obviously yeah. gets overlooked by uh, you know you know who, but check that out episode sixty four. Go subscribe to Carl's channel El Necron, and the Death Metal Podcast, and check out those shows. Get your fucking uh, get those notifications and all that shit right. So go go check out both of those shows. Oh yeah, dude, that rules. Uh, let me see. Check these comments. Saw Caveman Cult in Boston when you guys opened up for Incantation, came for you, got came for you guys and bounced and bounced, cuz. Mm. <laughs> 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 what's, up? what's up, Eddie? Black Witchers from Florida. Hell yeah, they're from Florida. Uh looking forward to a neck run. No baloney. What's up, dude? EOA giving the metal horns. Uh, Black motherfucking witchery, man. Fucking right. Our original drummer, Chris, was in a grind band with Ryan, the guitarist of ASM called Cellgraft. Asuk meets Infect or First Style Grind Cool. There you go. FJB. Help me out. I don't know. Uh, what's FJB? Fancy, I don't know. Fucking something, I don't know. Pro Fanatica is Monday, correct? Pro Fanatica is here on Monday. Uh, Carl, are they playing San Antonio? Nah, they're going to play um, Austin. Oh, okay. So Pro yeah. Fanatica is Monday. There we go. Hey, right, talking, so. talking about this side, we played with them in Miami recently, and that was fucking really good too, man. Oh, no shit? They still, they, they still fucking crush, man. That band doesn't fuck around. They still fucking crush. Wow. Yep. Does Orlando have any good metal? Uh, uh -huh. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything right now. Where's the concert at? Good question. The concert is in Houston on July 29th to 30th, this Saturday and Sunday at the BFE Rock Club. Go check it out. If you're anywhere near. BFE's a cool place, too, man. Got a good sound system. It'll be heavy in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool spot, for sure. All right. All right. So let's stay in Florida. Why not? Let's fucking stay in Florida, dude. This is a, this is a Florida show. Florida heavy show. <laughs> uh, so this is the fucking legends from Hollywood, Florida. Right? Isn't that where Pat's from? Hollywood, Florida? Ori originally uh, from Gainesville, I think. Oh, Gainesville. Okay. Yeah, originally. That's, yeah, that's right. That's right. This that's is where they started brand out. New, brand new fucking Hell Witch. Oh, Pat, shit. Pat, Witch, Pat Witch is one of the most underrated guitar players that have ever lived in the underground scene by far. The guy is a fucking just magician on the fucking guitar. So this is a brand new song called delegated disruption which is actually kind of a simple song title for hell Witch, you know what i mean because <laughs> mostly all their song titles are all fucking wild uh mm -hmm. so check it out brand new brand new hell Witch.
Yeah, that's a fucking ripper too, man. Ripper fucking song. Elwitz has been going since what eighty fucking four or something like that. <laughs> Way back. Way back. Fucking hey, dude. And they're just still just yeah, I, I'd actually planned on having Pat on, but uh I just had a lot of I'm shit. Asleep, but, man. Yeah, I mean I could probably I don't know, it's a little late, but it'd be cool to have him on. It'd be a little last uh Oh, who that shit, man? Who that shit? Uh, uh, it'd be cool to have a mod, but uh, yeah, but yeah. So, oh, yeah, nobody from Hellwitch is in the chat, man. But I, I could probably get a hold of Pat, but I don't know. It's like fucking was it nine thirty over there now or ten thirty over there now? I don't know. Ten thirty. Yeah, ten thirty. All right. 
All right, so let's uh, we'll continue our chat, but let's play the. So this is a headlining band on Sunday, uh, from Canada. Uh, the band is called Revenge, and the song is called War. I think this is from their la their latest album, came out a couple of years ago. Uh, the battery cover. Is is it is, is it the bath? I didn't listen to it. Do they do a battery cover? They, they, they did war on the first on the first EP. They did. Okay, well we'll see. I guess we'll find out. I thought yeah, this was yeah. something new. We'll find out right now if it's battery. War! Here we go. That's it. That's the first EP. Yeah. Wild cover of fucking Bathory. Yeah, they definitely oh, yeah. made it their own, man. That was cool. Yeah, they told totally me that. That's from the first EP. Yeah, I guess I, went, I didn't read it very well when I was hurrying up and uh, trying to put the show together. Uh, anyone who is a fan and haven't... Oh, why am I reading it by myself? Anyone who is a fan and haven't beat Blood Chalice... The goddamn drummer is like looking at Revenge Conquers discography. Okay. I never heard of You heard of Carl Blood Chalice? Nope. Oh, no. I'll check it out now if it sounds like Revenge Conquer. Shit. Blood Chalice rules. There you go. Somebody's heard of him. Hell yeah. All right. So that, that's it. That's all the fucking bands that are playing. Although Trenchon isn't on this flyer, but Trenchon is playing. They're opening up the show on Saturday. Uh, Trench five o'clock. They fucking yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's good, good shit. Uh, so go check it out. Look at the lineup: Aerothron, Hellwitch, Ackles, which I found out today, Evil Incarnate, Antichrist, Seed Machine, Unholier, Ars Kingdom, Caveman Cult, Caveman Cult, Abysmal Lord, Sacrileja, True Iron Will, and Ossuary and Trenchant. Check it out. Uh. But yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Destroying Texas Fest number... What number is this? 17? 17. 17. Damn. 17. 17. Yeah, dude. Like I said, he's done one about every year except yeah. the fucking... COVID bullshit. COVID year. So, yeah. So I, I actually prefer... 
Because, you know, nowadays fests are like, oh, you know, we're going to have three-day fest, and then we're going to have a pre-fest, and then we're going to have a fucking after party. We're going to have a fucking in-between party. We're going to have a brunch fest. We're going to have all this fucking <laughs> shit. Yeah. But, yeah, it's too much. It's too fucking much. Uh, but it's cool that, <laughs> you know, you got you got fucking, you got like, what, eight bands per day on this, and it starts like at five. And uh, usually those, usually the DTF runs pretty fucking smoothly for the most part. The ones I've been to anyway, you know. Yeah, I've never seen like a out. disaster over there. He, he runs it pretty no. tight, man. Yeah. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. No, totally, totally. You know, so uh, if you're anywhere near the area and you haven't decided, you're still undecided, just go check it out, man. Go check it out. Uh, you know, maybe, I, maybe I'll come on DMP live from the show on Saturday and we'll fucking talk to some of the bands or something. You That'd know what I mean? That be cool, dude. Yeah, I'd do that. Talk to some of the bands. No, you're not going to go to the show on Sunday, uh, Francisco? I'm about 60-40 right now because, man, fuck it. I get up early for work. But I'm, I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to be there Saturday. And, I de- and I'm on Sunday right now. But I don't know. After, after, after oh. him, like, after hearing your new shit and then you hell witch, I don't know, man. I fucking. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, that's pretty telling. That's what I'm right? saying. Hey, that's what I'm yeah. fucking saying, bro. Yeah, I know it, man. I know it. I know it, man. It's like, fuck, hey, man. Hey, and, and Revenge revenge Live is no joke, man. I think I, I think I, Carl did hot play with them in Houston. Which at, band? At of, at, uh, was Revenge? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. I think Revenge has played Houston. It was Revenge or... Yeah, it was Revenge, I think. Hod was, I don't know if Hod was on that building. Oh, they played at Walters. Re- they played at Walters. I thought maybe you you guys... I, don't, uh, I mean, we've played so many fucking shows. We could have, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah. But I was going to yeah. ask, I was gonna ask, bro, um, you toured with um, Go Hurry, so you, you know TA, right? Trans Am? You're breaking up, brother. Can oh, you repeat okay. that? You know Trans Am from Goat Horn, TA? Of course, man. That's 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 that's, that's my boy, man. That's good yeah, dude. That, that's my boy, too. We were in a band a long time that's together. That's good dude right there, man. He's, that's my, I was saying earlier, he's my brother from another mother. He's fucking cool as shit, man. Fuck yeah, he is, man. That's a good dude right there, man. <laughs> awesome dude. Yeah, small sir. world. It's small world, ain't it? It is. Especially in the fucking Bro. metal world, dude. Yeah. yeah. TA, man. Last time I saw him, he fucking comes up to me, goes, he goes, hey, a friend of mine took a picture with you at the Metallica show. The, the, the fucking Metallica played here and did like, like a like a Mega Force Records tribute to oh, like, yeah, you know, yeah, fucking, yeah to, to, to uh, the old man, to fucking Zalula and shit. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and some fucking dude that was next to me, to, I was, I was bugging out, you know, going off to the fucking, and I took a picture with this, I don't know who the fuck this cat was. And then T.A. tells me, he's like, bro, this fucking guy, a friend of mine has a picture. He took a picture with you and he showed me. He's like, I don't know who the fuck this really. <laughs> he's like, I don't know who the fuck this enthusiastic metalhead is, but he, he was fucking, he was going off and he was really fucking blah, blah, blah. He's like, he goes, that's fucking Harold. That's my boy Harold from fucking Cape My Coat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. <laughs> It's like, all world, man. All world. Yeah. That's that's fucking funny, man. Yeah, it was pretty fucking yeah. funny. Yeah, TA has fucking great stories and shit. The situations with TA, dude, always fucking hilarious. Fucking crazy. But but bust one out, bust one out. <laughs> all right. He might get mad at this one, but I don't care. We were on tour with him. Put you on the Mar- spot. We were on tour with Marduk, right? And the tour manager was kind of a prick. And um, we we're going into Canada. He's like, you got any drugs? You need to, you know, get rid of them all and all that, you know, before we cross the border. Uh, what? Well, okay, cool, whatever. You know, and I go, later on, I go, hey, uh, T8. So, you know, what's the deal? Did, did you ditch it? And he goes, fuck no, dude. I got all that shit across, dude. I'm cool, man. And I was like, all right, that's my T8 right there, dude. He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking DA. That's, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Hell yeah. Let me not, let me check. We're not, we're not getting rid of shit. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of shit. Dude, I got it. We're not getting rid of shit. <laughs> yeah. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, keep going. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get somebody else. Fuck uh, yeah. That was funny too, because um Canadian customs had um Morgan and um Daniel and the you know, I like, tuck them aside. I guess maybe they had a record or two. And we thought we were in the clear, but then um, this, our singer Bear, he got taken into the same room too, man. So we're like, oh shit, are we gonna be able to get across the border now? But um, basically, if you come up with two hundred bucks, you can get across the border. So <laughs> there you go, there you yeah. go. If anybody wanted to cross the Canadian border, come, that's good information to have. Yeah, have, have some bills, money have on hand. On you. Somehow you have, get into the country. Yeah. yeah, somehow, somehow shit shit becomes all right with two hundred dollars. That's that's without them knowing anything. Yeah, you know, they knew something about Mar Singer. Yeah, he, he had he had um I want to fucking just you know he just couldn't couldn't yeah. get across. We'll leave, leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, so last week I did a show with uh, just about that appointment with beer compilation. If anybody wants to download that compilation, the link is on that episode's the description of that episode. Uh, thanks to this, my man DJ Hellhammer, six six six. He he oh, yeah, that was gave me one. gave me a link. He gave me uh, he he gave everybody the link to 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 download the WAV files for that entire fucking heavy ass compilation. So yeah, there you go. But he has a question for you, Carl. First Damn, customs I here. found is Arizona. Ca- did they take your amps apart? No, no, I never had anything like that happen. The worst we ever had going from California to Arizona is they made us throw away fruit. <laughs> okay, but no, they didn't wait, take- your your friend fruit or actual fruit? <laughs> we no, nah, man. We would if we were taking fruit with us, we would have thrown them away a long time ago. That on my friend fruit, but no, nah, I mean that's never had like our amps taken apart or any of that shit. No. Chaos Cascade. I know, I know who they are. That's uh that's Oliver from Gut. That's his fucking kind of like evil kind of project. Chaos Cascade. They're really noisy shit. Uh it don't take much to be denied at the Canuck border or DUI, and they might deny you. Oh, they customs Canadian fucking yeah. border is fucking rough. It's rough. Apparently, we went through some fucking one out in the like in the boonies where I guess they're less restrictive, but if you go yeah. through the more busier ones, yeah, I heard they like it's harder to get into the country. Yeah. I don't fucking know how true that is, but that's what happened with us. I mean, I've heard many stories from bands with Canada, right? Just trying to get in. And, but Canada, know. fuck the, once you get in, like, it's metal as fuck, like Montreal and, and um, Toronto and those cities, they're fucking cool. Have you played those places, dude? Gerald? Mm-hmm. Dumb. Nah, not yet. Yeah, not like yet. It, Scenes are fucking cool, man. Very active. The close, the closest to Canada I've been to is fucking uh Syracuse, and that was a real shithole. <laughs> <laughs> Syracuse, <laughs> yeah. That that probably ain't no Montreal, Toronto, yeah. Hell no, it's a fucking shithole. <laughs> fucking Syracuse. We play. We play some. I don't even remember the name of the fucking place, but yeah, we played there, and yeah, I, I don't, I don't think anybody liked it. <laughs> I don't think anybody fucking liked it. Uh, have you guys played all over the? I mean, pretty much every region of the U.S. Though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I believe so. Yeah. What is the, what is the, what is the fucking what is one town where you played where you're like that mo- most people don't hit? I know everybody hits like big CDs or whatever. Was there any like? Smaller town where it was fucking like awesome. Smaller town where it was awesome. Shit, man. Fuck. I don't know. Uh, smaller town where it was awesome. I can't think of a fucking smaller town where it was awesome. <laughs> well, what about what? What some of the best react? What towns have you had the best? Some of the best reactions? Would you say? On the on the tour on the tour with Incantation and, and Gold Whore, yeah. Boston. Boston was was really fucking sick, and Chicago oh. was really fucking sick too. Yeah. Those two, those two stand out. Hey, and, yeah, and, and Orlando, Orlando was pretty fucking cool too. Orlando, when we played Orlando, 
Yeah. What about you, Carl? You remember? Well, I, I'll go along with Chicago. Chicago always kicks ass. I mean, we, we played a last minute show in Flagstaff, Arizona. That was funny in a biker bar. Oh, no was, shit. Yeah, it was um, with, uh, with Hod or what? Yeah, with Hod. It was on the. Well, fucking um, Adam was there with cardiac arrest in Grave Hill. Oh, and, that tour? Yeah, that shit. And played up there and it ended up being like. It was booked last minute, and it ended up being a fucking cool show. I think like Bear knew somebody from the bar. He was friends with one of the managers, and managed to get us a show. So we were driving, and it was you know I didn't know this shit, dude. In Arizona, it's hot as fuck, but you get up in the mountains, it's like in the seventies and shit, and it's like a tourist fucking town and shit up there. That's cool. horrible. Yeah, it was totally different, man. I was like, wow, this is nice, and fucking fucking. Dying in the fucking sun no more. It's like AC outside and shit. Pretty cool. That, that, that's, uh, like the incant- that's like the incantation tour. The last show was in Colorado in some fucking place called, I forgot the name, but it was three hours west of west of, of, of Denver. And it was, you had to go cross through the Rockies and it was cold as fuck up there. And then when we, when we went down, it was like the, the high desert. It looked like it was. It, it looked like the like canyons and shit, man. It was fucking awesome, man. And oh, yeah. we that's, that was the last show of the, of the that we played on the tour. Grand Junction, uh, Grand Ju- Grand Junction, Colorado. Wow, uh, Caveman yeah. Cole did play the Kickback Bar. How was that? That show? Yeah, we were there, Chris. I remember seeing you there. Uh, was that when y'all peed on Dimebag's mural? That wasn't them. That was somebody <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have all the fans threatening to kill yeah. us again, man. <laughs> that wasn't even y'all, right? Isn't that the no, story? That was, dude, you know it wasn't even y'all. I know the I know the story, but it just it just, it just that, shows you how it was that fucking girl in some fucking rock burger place on the side of the building in Chicago. We just ate there, and these fuckers. I wasn't even in the pick. I was pissing inside, and I walk out, and these guys are like all laughing, taking a picture. And I go, what you, what you? And go, <laughs> "We just made this fucked up picture. We're gonna send it to this guy who's been giving our drummer a hard time about not liking Pantera." That's how that whole fucking thing. And it was, it was, it was, it was that fucking, up. yeah, it was that dime bag. It looked like a fucking, uh, um, he looked like an Oriental guy. It even looked like dime bag. We were just laughing at it, dude. And so one guy pretended he was pissing on it, and other guys were flicking it off. The next thing you know, <laughs> we're, we're, we're part of that band that desecrated, well, you know, desecrated yeah. Dimebag's grave, and they they threw us in the story and all it's just shit. Next thing we know, like, here we fucking Pantera fucking jackass is sending us death threats. And, Come Pantera! On, we're, gonna, we're gonna kill you boys and this and that. <laughs> you don't disrespect Dime like that. <laughs> 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 <Okay>. <laughs> That's, that, that's dime bag, our Lord and Savior, motherfucker. You don't talk about the Pantera boy. We're gonna get you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't believe somebody brought that up. Thank you for bringing that up, uh, Dave. Uh, that's fucking. <laughs> Carl hadn't talked about that one in a while, so yeah. That was our concert. That's our Y'all got y'all. Did y'all make it on those fucking bullshit ass websites? Like metal something, metal sucks, or what is all that? Yeah, crappy fuck that place. Metal sucks. Metal <laughs> and Jackson and all them guys ran with it. Yeah, because they they said our they took that picture of our band and said we were the band that fucking did the thing over at the grave. And we're like, that ain't we ain't no. It was some crust band that did it, dude. We weren't even no. Yeah, crust no, band. it wasn't. Like, it wasn't even y'all. You know. <laughs> it was just all fucked up. Sheboygan. Anybody ever played Sheboygan? <laughs> That's, that's a that's a I mean that's a real that's a real town. That's a fucking funny ass name. Sheboygan, where's Sheboygan at? I, I don't know what town what sit state Beach that's me. In, I, Beach Sheboygan. Me, motherfucker. Sheboygan. Sheboygan. Wow. Uh-huh. Hey, you Brandon know who was at that? you to the cemetery gates. Nuclear Hellfrost? That was the band that did it? Yeah, that was the band. That was the band uh-huh. that started it all. DJ said that's his fucking homies. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh Sheboygan is in Michigan. Carrie, yeah, that's right. My buddy Carrie lived in Michigan for a oh, while. Fucking Carrie, what's up, dude? Sheboygan? That's where hell's at. Oh, wait, it's in Wisconsin or Michigan? Which one is it, dude? Probably Wisconsin. <laughs> it's a real Wisconsin. town called Intercourse. Really? That's pretty fucking <laughs> funny. Intercourse. 
Yeah, that's right next to Sheboygan. Which <laughs> 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 you could be both. What do you mean? Could be both. I guess. I guess uh, Illinois and or no, Michigan, Michigan and Wisconsin. Do they border? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't consulted I, a fucking. Uh, I think I don't know. I don't, think, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. so. Yeah. Maybe if you cross the lake somehow, I don't know. Cross the lake for sure. It's. I thought uh, like Illinois was in between. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. This isn't fucking geography class. Uh, Yo, you, you know who was at that show that we played in Houston? The fucking dude from Rush to Shut. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, was it uh Don? Right, Don. The, the the drummer, the drummer. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Rush Bro, to I, Shut. I, I, I love that disgusting fucking band. That band is a shit. Yeah, they were they were fucking just trippy fucking band from Houston. <laughs> uh. Uh, a bunch of public school G's here. Fucking right. Fucking, <laughs> pri fucking private schools. Yeah. Could be both. Could be you both. You got to see them live, bro? You got to see them live ever? Rusty shot? Yeah. Hell, I think I think we might have played shows where they played. I don't know. But yeah. Did they fuck, did they fuck the show up? What happened? How did it go? Uh, it was just... Their, their shows are just total fucking like... Uh, from what I remember, it's just just total yeah. noise and chaos and just you know. I think my buddy Ray. I remember my buddy Ray saw them like. I remember him telling me it was. It was rusted shut and paintings at the Axiom in Houston. I remember he said that was like one of his first shows. So that's that's pretty fucking wild show to be your yeah. first one of your first shows. I um, was like 90, 90, 91. I, I don't remember. But uh, fucking hell! <laughs> These motherfuckers. <yeah. laughs> that was pretty oh, funny, dude. Oriental dime bag, vulgar display of power. Damn it, boy. Carl, do you remember playing Indiana? Yeah, yeah, I, we played there. I think. Do you remember the venue? Oh, fuck, man. I, yeah, kind of. It was like I don't know her name, but it was like. Look like a damn school or something. I remember like lockers in there, and then I don't know, dude, it was weird. It, it kind of had like a mafia setting, man. I was just like, wow, this fucking seems like mafia place. It had all these different of uh, gym in one area, and then the club in the one area. And I was like, what? But yeah, hell, he I was think, probably here. DJ I think Hell's I think it was there. with um, damn, was it with the Bismo Lord? Might he said it was guy. a he said it was a dump. <laughs> yeah, it was a dump for sure. <laughs> I, 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 Fucking fell off the fucking stage, but I played it off cool. And the other guys thought I did this <laughs> cool, and they you, all fucking well, no, off too. You th you thought you played it all cool? No, no, because they they did the same thing, bro. <laughs> they jumped down too, and I and I saw it with my peripheral, and I started laughing like I was like these fuckers thought I did the shit on purpose to get all up front, all badass. So I was like, whoa, fucking, <laughs> and doesn't like somehow I land managed on my feet, dude. I was like, wow. They thought, oh yeah, I'll fucking. You're I'll like a, you're like a, shit. you're like a, you're like, like a fucking cat. You're, you're a cat. Yeah, it's a always land on your feet, time, bro. Hey, oh, so hey, so you guys play with Grave Hill in Indiana, and then the other time with who? Yeah, uh, I, I don't. I think we dropped off the tour before we went to Indiana with Grave Hill. Oh, okay. Yeah. But so I, the other I, one with what Marduk or something? Huh? What was the other one with? Was that the Marduk tour? Nah, you know what, or, dude? Or, I think R and R. No. Uh, was that the same tour, R and R and Marduk, or no? Yeah, that that was same tour, same band. Damn, dude, how'd y'all get on that tour? I never asked you that. Was it the label that helped you, or what? It was when we were on um, Ibex Moon. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, cool. Which which, which Marduk record? Oh fuck! It was with Daniel early in his career. It's like 2010. Um. They were doing that EP at the time, Blood Dawn. And I'm getting it right, the yellow cover. But um, it was an EP. I learned out what they were selling. But I don't, oh, I don't I remember the full, full, but I, it has, um, I think it was called Blood Dawn. If the chat knows, it was like an EP, yellow with a tank. I always go back to Panzer Division, Mark. Yeah, it wasn't that far back, but 
I yeah, that's go back probably the their best one for sure. Yeah, I love that one. I love that one. That one is fucking on. Onslaught. Onslaught. Yeah, fuck no, no fucking mercy. Ah, but yeah, man. No, I know. I think we did Indiana with um, Abysmal Lord, and I think we only oh okay. that time we we played Indiana. It was just like a two. We were going to Chicago, and they threw a show on Indiana, so we played both. You know, played that was with Hot. That was with Hot. Yeah. Okay. Damn, my best more lord in the early days, huh? Yeah. Um, ask the boys about it. They went out on the road with Hod for like a, a week or so, a week and a half, maybe. Yep. Sick. Back when, Sick. Back when uh, Grant was playing guitar. Yeah, he was playing guitar. He's and like, wearing the big old fucking cloak thing or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, Dude, can I borrow your tuner real quick? <laughs> like, yeah, bro, go for it. <laughs> hey, hey bro fucking fucking grand fucking rules dude he'll fucking he does rule playing guitar yeah, yeah, on the side of the stage grand rules he, man he, he, he I've, I've gotten his 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 voice down a little bit he goes he always goes yeah bro yeah that's it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. And, he, and he, he goes dude I don't know if he still does that. <laughs> one, <dude. laughs> Another one that he always says, he goes, have mercy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I would text him right now, but he'll reply in like three days. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, I told him I was on this motherfucker. I, I go, hey, I'm on this motherfucker. Tune in, bitch. Oh. I've invited him on the show. You know, yo, maybe if you send him a link right now, he'll tune in. Let me see. I'm gonna send it to his text right now. I'm gonna do this. Fucking do it, man. Grant, fucking Grant. I have him as Grant Lord. Grant Lord. We call we call him General Grant. General Grant. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna put join us, bruh. AKA. The bestial Sasquatch. <laughs> that's what happens. The that's what happens. The bestial Sasquatch. Hell yeah. That's, that's, that's the kind of shit you do when you're when you you're on tour with somebody for a while, right? You just fucking Yeah, you, you talk you shit, you clown. You, yeah. Clown and you know you learn all their fucking tendencies and yeah, you, you you know how they talk. You you you, you know. Yeah. Hell yeah. What, what's funny? What's the fucking um? Damn, I'm fucking blanking the singer's name. Abysmal Lord. Uh, no, now I blank. Now I fucking blank. Matt. 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 Apparently, we. I don't know if how true this is, but this is a long time ago, right? And and, and Grant, we were partying, and Grant says he's never drank whiskey before and we're all <laughs> and, and matt was getting fucked up and um we were sitting there and we we're at a buddy's house right on tour and uh grant kept making those i don't know if grant done that to you all where he makes those faces and you know how <laughs> grant, he looks crazy enough man so he's making these weird faces and he's like yeah yeah I know all about that. Like, yeah that's the- fucking grant <laughs> <laughs> and, and matt's like, look at his fucking face what the fuck is that, man? What the fuck, Grant? Grant be like, so he would stop, and then he go. <laughs> <laughs> we all, what the fuck is he doing, man? <laughs> that was tripping out. That shit was a good time, man. Last time I saw Grant, I think it was at that that show where y'all played too. I, I, I don't know what band shirt I was at. I had on. He goes, hey, he goes, hey, bro. Every time I fucking see you, bro. You're wearing some fucking shirt that I don't know who the fuck that band is, bro. <laughs> I, I, I think I tell you, hey, stop being a fucking poser, bro. I fucking learn some shit already. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, he's like, every fucking time, bro. You fuck, I just some fucking total cult shit. But yeah, dude. But bro, uh, he, he always he always does this shit with his fingers. He always be like, he'll be like. <laughs> like when, he's telling, when he's telling you something, he's like he'll he'll stop with the finger, be like like you know point like he'll point down like that shit, bro. That. <laughs> watch a lot of a lot of a lot of people don't like fucking people pointing and shit. 
No, but he's not pointing at shit. He's just telling you that he he thinks that that's fucking the shit right there. (laughs) (laughs) But but he's not talking about. It's just him being like, "Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Yeah, bro. Fucking, fucking, (laughs) fucking Grant, man. Yeah, man. He's a character, dog. He's a fucking character, bro." Yeah, no shit. No fuck. Hey, so how many shows did y'all do with Abysmal Lord, Carl? Was, I think it was like a week, maybe a week and a half. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty pretty lengthy. It was like up, I think, like up to the Midwest and back, you know? I yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. We went, but I remember playing like Chicago and Tennessee and, you know, all that shit going up there. Playing Damn. a bunch of dumps. It was fun. It was cool. Bunch of dumps. Tennessee? Where y'all play in Tennessee? I don't even remember, dude. It was just a barn. <laughs> Some barn in Tennessee. Just you play in a like barn? Memphis or what? <laughs> a barn. A barn. It could have been a barn. No, we played what? in fucking Memphis. We played, a, we played in Memphis. Y'all played in fucking uh, Graceland and shit? Graceland. Yeah, we did a special set on Graceland. Midnight fucking desecration show. Nah. Or Dollywood. Y'all play Dollywood. Is it Dollywood? Nah, yeah, that would have been fucking cool, dude. Holy play shit. Dollywood. Isn't uh, that yeah. in Tennessee too? Yeah. I, I went there when I was a kid one time. I never forget that shit. Oh, you've been to Dollywood, dude? Yes. Fuck. Oh, That's hell cool. yeah. Hey, did any of you guys ever tour with Nefelheim from Sweden or play any shows with him? Nah. No. 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 Uh, what does this say? Murfreeze? Or maybe what? Maybe it's the place. Oh, is that the name oh. of the town? The three six mafia show up. <laughs> That's what got. Yeah, dude, 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 dude. having a good time. <laughs> Memphis is rough. I'm from Tennessee and won't go. I've been to Memphis. That's what uh, fucking Dollywood. Dollywood is Murfreesboro. That's uh, that's what that guy's saying. That shit. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, one and time we, though, in, in Memphis, with Monstrosity, they're um fucking. We played a little bar upstairs, and um their fucking smoke machine got stuck on on. Who so the whole? And it was Monstrosity smoke machine, so oh, it really? just kept blowing and blowing. <laughs> and, and I uh, and I'm telling them the pitch player, hey, your smoke machine. He's all buzzed <laughs> out. He's laughing. He thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> so I don't care, dude. I go, you know, I, I go outside and do my thing. Next thing I know, I'm looking up to the top of their patio of that bar and all this fucking smoke coming out of it. And it, it kind of looked like it was on fire, right? So um, the fucking fire department shows up next and um, shuts the show down because they thought they had a fire in the building. And it's all <laughs> because they didn't want to unplug that fucking smoke machine, dude. The uh, DJ says guys. he's met every member of 3-6 Mafia in real life. There you go. Wow. That's cool. Well, you guys want to hear a wild fucking story, man? Well, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. The first, the second night of the tour that we did with Nexul, it was in Gainesville. And the fucking house that we stayed at caught on fire. <clears throat> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. we, we woke up and the whole house was smoked the fuck out. You couldn't breathe. Fuck. What the and, fuck? And, and, and the the back of the house with a with a with a fucking uh with a what do you call it the 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 dryer and all that shit that's what made the house something in the dryer made the fucking house mm-hmm. catch on fire. Fuck! It wasn't all the evil in the fucking house. Uh, <laughs> hey, it might have been. It might have been. Could have contributed. I mean, so, I, hey, I, that's what I'd go with. It was fucking nuts, man. People running, trying to get the fuck out of the house, trying to. It was wild, man. Damn. That could have been bad shit. Yeah, it was. It was fucked up. Damn. 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 I remember uh, my buddy Dave for PLF. He said they played a. They played a, like a house show. Some I don't know if it was San Antonio or Austin. But the guy that was like renting the house or whatever said, "Hey man, this is our last day here or whatever. We're 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 fucking done with it. Fucking the crowd just fucking destroyed the fucking house, 
like all the walls and shit, you know, while they're playing. Because they're like, ah, oh, fuck it. We're not going to be living here anymore. You know, everybody do whatever the fuck you want. And they did whatever the fuck they wanted, dude. They just annihilated the fucking house. Like, damn. Total destruction. Total destruction. Uh, what does it say? Yep. So yeah, it was it was it was it was fucking wild. I remember. Uh, I think I, I'm sure I mentioned this before, but when at Morosidad, when we when we played in fucking Mexico City, well, it wasn't Mexico City. It was like a little whatever, right by it, Quexetuac or whatever the fuck I already said. But the stage, it was this fucking bar. The stage literally had like barbed wire all around like on the front so anybody that got up front or whatever was moving around it could get fucking cut up by all the barbed wire and shit so i was like this place this is fucking badass dude yeah, and it was really. total and it was total darkness too because they turned off the box like having all the lights turned off or whatever so you really couldn't see right so you know people people would get fucking bloodied up and shit just just by being up front and get fucking cut by the uh by, by the barbed wire. I was like, fuck it, hey, dude, this is wild. So, Mexico City rules. Brutal, dude. That sounds like, like pretty fucking nuts. Yeah, dude, it was wild. That's the first time I'm, I'm uh, well, I don't, he probably doesn't remember because he was drunk as fuck. Antimo from fucking Vomit Records and Discords and all those bands. Well, he was at the show and uh, he was fucking plastered, like fucking plastered. And, uh, he was uh he he was at he was like at a uh at the stage where you could barely barely fucking walk. He was just fucking just gone, dude. He's fucking, the big dude, the big ball headed dude. Yeah, well he you know yeah, exactly him. And he uh all of a sudden there's this band because there was bands playing all fucking all night, dude. Like they had bands started at like seven o'clock and it was like four in the morning and people were still fucking playing in this bar. <laughs> That's and, fucking uh, right. So we were outside. We were outside, and this band started playing fucking uh, uh, Sacrifice by Bathory. If that motherfucker didn't straighten up, dude, he fucking sobered up for like 10 seconds. He's like, Sacrifice. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, then he, and, then he, and then he went back to fucking, you know, stumbling and shit. I'll never forget that. That's shit. fucking cool. Uh, fucking battery fucking sobered him up for like 10 seconds or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> it, was, it was fucking badass. It was so badass. Uh, dude, uh, Mexico City, man, if anybody ever get, I, I'm lucky I got to play like a couple of shows there. If you ever, they're fucking just total fucking maniacs. Just fucking wild. And I'd love to go out there, man. Yeah, dude, you'd fucking love it. You'd fucking love it. Uh, we got invited to play that 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 uh, death over death over what's it, what the fuck is it called? Death over oh, Mexico, right? Oh, total death or something like that. Yeah, but we couldn't make it for some reason. We we had some we got some problems and we couldn't do it, man. But, oh, but I, would, I would love to to fucking do that the, shit. That's the one where fucking abysmal lord was wasn't scheduled to play. But somebody canceled, and they all, I think Matt and Grant or somebody happened to be there, and they ended up doing like a, a last minute set at one of those festivals. I think that oh, was that fest. Cool. Yeah. Cerebral Rot played that shit. I know that much. Yeah, that's the one. That's the Total Death Over Mexico fest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. They're having yeah. another one this year or next yeah. year. This year, next year. But yeah, man, it's fucking. Uh, yeah, every year. Yeah. Yeah, so Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Yeah, I remember it was like 2020. They had a uh, imprecation played here on a Friday because we uh, we played with them and uh, they were supposed to play that fest in Mexico, but that's fucking everything got shut down literally like a day after after we played or whatever. So they couldn't leave the country. There was a band from Italy, Sepulcro, that was supposed to go over there and play, and they couldn't go over there. Uh, a lot of bands had to cancel. I remember. What, uh, what band were you? What band were you doing at oh, the time? That was, that was Cemeterian. We that was like our second show, our second and last show. Uh, yeah, it was a good show. It was fucking imprecation. Uh, uh, who else played that? Sepulchral band. 
from Italy. Uh, Cerib oh no, we Cerebro brought and fed it was like the first time we played. That was that tour or whatever that came through. Right. Uh, that show was fucking packed, I remember. Like, fuck. So, sick band. Uh, but yeah. Did you ever play any shows with uh, that feeble savior? Never. Me, we were uh, supposed to. We were supposed to play one one time. One shame, time. We were supposed to play one one time, but we it, it, it's like, nah, dude, we're not gonna be able to do it. So we ended up canceling. Actually, it was supposed to be with like Grave Hill and somebody else somewhere in Houston. Fucking shame, uh, bro. We really sick band. I like that band a lot, man. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, there's three unreleased songs that I, I need to get released. Uh, that I really like. I thought thought that was like one of our best raw recordings that we did, and it just never got. It was supposed to be used for something, and that did happen, and so they're just there. I got the demo tape with that uh, fucked up looking face on it. I love that fucking demo tape, man. Oh yeah, that was that was when uh, I I started the band back up, and Matt Matt joined on drums, uh, Hefner. So that was the first release with Matt Hefner. Yeah, that was that was cool. Some uh, nasty. Some fucking nasty bestial shit on that fucking demo, man. That shit is raw, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was it was fun to do, man. It was fun to jam it with Matt. Uh, we, we we did quite a few things. Uh, yeah, see, there's a flyer for that show. I think our logo's even on the flyer, but now nah, we didn't play. Uh, like fuck this. It's kind of like it's kind of one of the things where like, man, are we gonna be able to kind of recreate what we recorded? And I don't know. I just. Like, of course, know, man, man. Of course, that's your fucking music. Why, why couldn't you? Well, I just, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I think we were just finding, trying to find reasons not to play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a cop out, brother. That's a cop yeah. out. Yeah, no, I just, I don't know. It's, it's just something never, we never really were like, hey, you know, let's fucking do it. It's nothing that really ever came up. That was like one of the things where somebody was asking, hey, you guys, well, yeah, well, I guess we could try or whatever, but it's just it never happened. So uh, I got you. I got you. Maybe, 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 maybe. Who knows? Never say never, right? But, never uh, say no. Yeah. Never say never. You never know. It might happen. Uh, I hope it so. Turns out, turns out, Bathory is playing in Mexico next year at Hell and Heaven Fest. They'll see all those fucking. <laughs> they'll see all those stupid ass flyers <laughs> going around. What are you talking about man? what now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those fucking uh, those uh, those those uh, the hell and heaven fest where all those fucking people make like all these fake flyers. It's like, hey, only appearance like in Mexico or this year, or whatever. And it has like, you know, have battery. One of them had. I remember one year they had like Burzum playing in Mexico, and like everybody <laughs> believed, everybody believed like that was happening. They had one with like Anal Khan. Get uh, the fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So I never, yeah, it's just, I never, never heard of that shit. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's just people people going fuck just people just clowning, you know, just yeah trying to trying to do some funny shit. It, it actually became a thing now where every year like somebody will make flyers and say, you know, only appearance in Mexico this year, like, you know, somebody that obviously is not gonna play. Uh uh, yeah, definitely ain't gonna be no fucking battery. No, 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 no. It's gonna be battery. It's gonna be a hologram or something. <laughs> the call from the grave. Ah, look, he just fucking yeah, exactly what I said. With Ronnie James Dio on vocals. There you go, hologram Corton. <laughs> fucking Dio Corton. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, but uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll. Do something sometime uh, with with the new band ETD or I don't have the banner today, but uh, we might we're actually jamming in a month or something like that. So the jamming or recording, just practicing. Practice, all right. Yeah, I got a bunch of I've been writing a bunch of shit lately, so um, sick. I think time, it's time for us to fucking you know put some more shit together. And uh, rip it out. A lot of the new stuff oh. that I've been writing is more 
Charter. You want to play, play some shows, man? We'll, we'll do some Florida shows with you guys, man. Oh, shit. We'll put that shit together, brother. No problem at all, man. And he said, Let's go. JD Let's do this. The drummer. Orale, orale. Hey, I just looked Let's over the shit, homes. Apparently, I'm, uh, uh, I, I don't believe in myself. I gotta <laughs> believe in myself. I'm a fucking wimp. I'm a scaredy cat. All right. Y'all are all right. Uh, Snap out of that shit, Holmes. The screen print on that ETD album is beautiful. I should have bought two. I don't ruin one playing it. Uh, ask Harold his super group lineup. I don't know what that means, but super group lineup. As far as like uh, bands he wants to play with or what uh, what would be his super group lineup? Oh, yeah. we. I think Carl and I mentioned, talked about that one day where it's like, you know, who would you have on bass? Or some shit. I think that's probably what he's talking about. Oh, I remember that fucking conversation. You yeah. blame it, man. Shit, Dave Lombardo on drums? Huh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Paul Chan on guitar? Bass? It's hard, man. That's, that's a tough one. I don't know. Yeah, it's fucking tough, dude. We were sitting there like, fuck. Fuck this question. kept revising it and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck this question. Can I, have, can I have two drummers? I put Mick Harris next to Dave Lombardo. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Pete Sandoval, 1989. Fuck you. Three yeah. drummers. Fuck you. Three fucking Fuck drummers. All Hell drummers. All drummers. Three, three drummer band. Yeah. And Chris uh, Reifert. Chris Reifert on drums and doing vocals. Gene Hoagland, <laughs> four drummers. Gene Hoagland. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You can stop at Dave Lombardo. Yeah, I mean, you can't go around there. Fucking Dave yeah. Lombardo. Fuck it. That's it. Just drummers. No, 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 no guitars, no bass, all, nothing. All drummers. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all it. Drummers. All drummers, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, tough, that's a tough question. Yeah, that's a tough question. Yeah. Tough like, fuck this, man. Uh, but but I've always loved Paul Chain's guitar playing, so I don't know if you guys ever got into fucking Paul Chain at all. So. Paul Chain from, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Paul Chain was the Italian doom guy. Yeah, the guy. Italian guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Italian, Italian out, doom guy. Yeah, he started out with Death SS, and then he, he did his own thing. Yeah. He left Death SS. Death yeah. SS, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got into, bro, the, the dude that I was telling you earlier, that used to work at, at Aces Records got me into that motherfucker when I was a kid. And oh, that nice. shit, it, 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 bro, uh, that dude's music just fucked my head up from an early, early age. I got to hear that, that music. Especially yeah. the, uh, that first TP that that guy did. I don't know if you ever, I don't, it, it's called Detaching from Satan. That first fucking EP is incredible, bro. Incredible. Incredible. It, it fucking hit you right when, when you first heard it, huh? Yeah, bro. You know, there's some oh, yeah. things that you hear throughout your life that you, you do. That was yeah. one of those. You know what I mean? No, no, that was I, one I of completely those. understand. Uh, Fraser's lineup yeah, would be Rob Hoffer, good. Steve Harris, Nikki, my brain, Nikki, my brain. I don't know <laughs> and James Mickey Rivers. How about all drummers, all blast beats? <laughs> all drummers, all blast beats. Hell yeah! Total can uh, be sick. Bass, Getty Lee, drums. Disgustor, guitar, Rob Barrett, vocals, King Diamond. Jesus Christ. That'd be a wild fucking lineup right there, dude. King Diamond on vocals. King Diamond doing uh doing like uh not not King Diamond vocals. Doing Can't some imagine. fucking doing some fucking growls or some fucking screams. But he's gotta have the raccoon makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he does. Only the, only the raccoon makeup. That's it. No, no other. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a. Nicky, my, Nikki, my brain. Play some HRA. No, we, I, I got no more music. I, this was just a destroying Texas special. Destroying, uh, unlike Carl, Carl keeps all his shit from all the shows. But I, I delete everything. As soon as I do a show, I like all right. I'm deleting all these songs. I probably I still ain't delete that. shit. I still got it all crowded. 
Yeah, I probably need. Files. I probably should delete some shit, but I just don't. I mean, I, I should probably. Uh, uh, you should keep some. Keep some shit. I meant, but I don't. It comes in handy, right? When you're like, when the shit starts, like, oh yeah, people, hey, play it on one, play it on one. Exactly. <laughs> you play another one. Yeah, so play some play some carcass, bro. Oh man, that's I, I, I yeah, carcass, <clears throat> fucking carcass. I deleted the last carcass song. I think fuck, I had. Fuck that shit. You know what you gotta play, bro? You gotta play Rise in Power. Wow, oh, talking my shit now, dude. Fucking Ace Flick of the Switch. That's what you gotta play, motherfucker. Well, we'll get shut down in like two seconds if we play ACDC. That's the only the ACDC show. ACDC Rise in power. Bow, bow, bow. Have you played live on... ACDC? Did they shut you down on the live shit? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Damn. I think I played. I played a uh, uh, something live from like '78. They and still it just gotcha. Got me. We uh, Abysmal Lord. I played Abysmal Lord fucking two hours ago. I played something new off that last album. The song was called. Uh, fuck was the song called? Glowing. Glowing. What was it called? Glowing Baphomet. I'll be right back. Yeah. ACDC rules. But yeah, so. Anyway. Yeah, I'm about to probably shut it down here in a minute. Probably in about 10, 11 to be exact. Uh, I still got to eat my fucking dinner. GTF. GTF this weekend in Houston. If you're anywhere near, go check it out, man. Uh, there you go, right there. And then tomorrow, Carl is doing this show on his, on the El Necron channel. On the Old DSI hour. only. Don't worry. Old no. DSI only. Yeah, I won't be. Everything you see there. You know. And then Roy's doing the Norwegian Death Metal Podcast on Saturday. So go check both of those out. It's going to rule. Uh, but yeah, Flick so. of the switch, bro. Flick of the switch! My, my jam is landslide. <laughs> what a record. What a fucking record, man. I love that goddamn record. Landslide's my jam. That motherfucker gets my fucking right leg moving. Fucking. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Crippling Void and Nola on Sunday if you can't get to DTF. Oh, cool. Uh, Crippling Void from Houston. Good band. If any of y'all play video games and see Bon Scott's Ghost, that's me. I guess you're talking about like online videos, <clears throat> like it's right. a screen name or whatever. Yeah, I got to see Devastation when I was way back. I got to see them one time. Oh, the the Texas Devastation. It was it was them and Death together. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that shit. Yep. Devastation that, fucking destroyed live, dude. They were fucking high energy live. Oh, boy. Absolutely. And, and you know what band I remember playing right around the same time? DBC. Oh, shit. The Dead Brain Cells? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I have that, uh, the first album, Dead Brain Cells, right? The first one's called Dead Brain Cells. It was that black yeah. and red cover. Yeah. It was yeah. DBC and like a bunch of other bands, and Last Rocket played too. Last Rocket. Oh, oh, Last Rocket was on the bill too. Shit. <laughs> yeah, they're on the, they're on the same bill. Yep. Yeah. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. That's the only thing. I, that's the only, that's the only thing I know from them. I'm a fuck. I don't. I don't know shit about. <clears> City's gonna burn is a good heavy metal record, but it's, it has some good speed metal, and then it has their typical kind of you know, rocking shit. Where, too. Was Last Rocket from? Were they from, were they from California or Florida? Where they from? I think they're from California. Yeah. Not Florida, that's for sure. Oh, okay. they're from Florida? Nah, they're not from here. Oh, man. I was like, damn. I, oh, I can't say for sure where they're from, though. I bet Carl saw Rigor Mortis way back, right, Carl? Nah, they, they never no. came down our way, dude. Weird. Yeah, no, I, never, I never saw I, them either. I mean, we played with them when they came back, you know, like, what, 10 years ago I, or so. I, but I don't I remember, remember them coming down to San Antonio ever. 
I do remember uh, my brother, my older brother's friends. I think I was probably like 13 or something like that. I remember they went to, they were talking about, yeah, we're going to go see uh, this band called Rigor Mortis play. And it was probably like 88. That's when the album came out. Cause I remember they had, they came back and they had that fucking uh, dying pain shirt or whatever. I think it had like the, the album cover, but it was like a, uh, uh, it was in color. It was like, was it the, a blue logo? I don't fucking remember. I just remember it said dying pain on the back. I was like, oh fuck, you know? That's fucking so, cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, Richard. Of course, Richard saw uh, Rigor Mortis plenty in in, uh, in Austin. Yeah, he, he needs to write a book. <laughs> yeah, Richard Rules. Yeah, he got the cool. Yeah, no, another tour that you guys always talk about that I got to see was the Immolation with Gorophobia tour. I saw. Yeah. It. Oh, you went to that one. Hell that yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah, that that yeah. came here too. That was one of my favorite shows. Yeah. And it was in Miami, in Miami Beach, and there was like twenty fucking people there. I kid That's you not. How- Man, it was ours. Was in Houston when Emulation was playing. It was probably San Antonio. Fucking, it wasn't many people. It might have been 20, 25 tops. Yep, yep. And they tore yeah. it up still, man. That was fucking heavy. Oh, did. Oh, well, yeah, because the, all, the, all they all they had up to that point was the first album, Donna Possession. Yeah, so it was And you know fun. something that I remember distinctly, distinctly about that fucking show was the fact that that agoraphobia recovered a. Uh, the Celtic Frost song. I, I think yeah, they did they, it yeah. came to Chris and Rage. And, yeah. and and the one thing that stuck out was that the dude was they looked black metal as fuck to me. All you know, they, they were all mm-hmm. spiked and all that shit. And mm-hmm. I was like, God damn, this is real, like real fucking black metal kind of shit. And that yeah. shit hadn't really it really hadn't come back yet. And then all of a sudden, like a year later, yeah, it blew yeah. the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, You're right. That, yeah, dude. They they were yeah, they were great. They played that, that frost cover too. Uh, That's funny. You bring that up because Chris was saying he was talking about how on that tour he was, you know, talking about Dark Throne and all that. Yeah, yeah. He was, yeah, he's told us before, like, he was telling everybody, hey guys, there's this fucking new thing fucking about to fucking hit big here in about a year, the next year. And everybody's like, everybody's like, ah, fuck that or whatever. Sure enough, you had fucking Dark Throne. Oh, that shit. Black metal, black metal was was not really was wasn't fucking. It was dead still. Yeah. And then and bro, it's crazy, man. I mean, it's crazy. I remember buying the, going and buying the second Dark Throne tape and thinking it was gonna sound like Soul Side Journey, and oh, yeah, it blew yeah. my it blew my fucking mind. It uh, blew my yeah. fucking mind. Yep. Holy shit! This is fucking real black world. metal. Yeah, <laughs> fucking real black metal. Holy shit! Sure. Yeah. Uh, the, was it uh What's the fucking what's the album? What's the fucking album called? I can't remember now. Blaze, Blaze in the Northern Sky. Sky. Blaze in the Northern Sky. Now I I, I I still say to this day my favorite is still uh uh the one right after that. Really? Transylvania yeah. Hunger. No, oh. the other one. Under, Under a funeral, funeral moon. moon. Funeral moon. Yeah. yeah. That was fucking. I think that might be my favorite. That was fucking. Yeah. I don't man. I, I think I still go to Blaze the most. Probably. Which one? A Blaze in Northern Sky is when I go to. Ah, me too, man. Me too. I'll I'll die with that one, bro. I'll die with that motherfucker. All those Celtic cross riffs, dude. It's <laughs> fucking cool, man. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. So much cowbell in that motherfucker. So. Much- <laughs> so- <laughs> like, like Rob. Like Power and yeah, shit. Dude. Much fucking cowbell in that bit, right? Like Rob Power, exactly. Shit, yeah. raw power rules, man. Raw power, power rules. Fucking, raw power fucking kicks everybody's ass. We're all gonna die. Yeah. Scream, scream from the gutter is like one Classic. million out of ten, man. Yep. That's fucking ridiculous how great that album is. The guitar Absolutely. player, the guitar player shreds fucking better than anybody. Dude, he's like a fucking like an 80s shredder, right? He's, he's a fucking, fucking shredder, dude. He's like he's one of them guys that could put out a solo fucking shredding album. Like Joe Satriani or some shit, you know what I mean? So, yep. Oh, sorry, I, I don't. I, I didn't mean to. I didn't bring it up, Kerry, because there are shows that like because we used to go to shows together. And he missed. He he didn't get to go to that Immolation Gorophobia oh, show. Damn. But I, I missed plenty too because I couldn't. I couldn't make it. Uh, you know, I plenty, missed, plenty. I missed the. I missed the GG riot here in San Antonio, the famous one. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, what was it called? The uh, G.G. Allen, the Texas what? Texas? Scumbags. Is that what it was? I, I can't well, say for sure. 
Friday. What was it, chat? It was Texas something. Texas. What was the name of the fucking the band? The Cookout. The Cookout. Texas <laughs> cookout. The Texas Cookout. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> Dude, fucking, fucking dirty Derek was still here. He know, man. Shit. Yeah, Derek. Yeah, recipes, Derek. Yeah. Yeah. The Texas, the Texas cookout with they Gigi broke, Allen. They broke, both. <laughs> they broke his arms. I thought they just fucking beat him up a little bit. I don't know if they. Broke I, his I don't arm. remember anything about his arms getting broke. No. Uh, I think what the worst of it was he was already off, fucking gone off the stage when everybody else was beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> yeah. Gigi Allen and the Texas Nazis. That's what yeah, it was. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew somebody yeah. would tell. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Gigi Allen and the Texas Nazis. Sure, sure was. Fucking A. And the fruit was Harry Vial. I filmed that video. That's his, <laughs> yeah. that's his first Is that, is that his that video? Is yeah. that his video? Yeah, that was his video. It took me years to appreciate Gigi, man, but now I actually like some of that dude's music. He's got some fucked up music. I like it. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, some some dirty ass Grammy shit, man. That's just great. <laughs> but it, it yeah. took me a long time to get into it. I thought he was a fucking piece of shit scumbag. So I, now, now I can get into it now. You can appreciate it. I can appreciate is, it now. He is a piece of shit scumbag, but you can. Oh, yeah, I, I got people. I've heard that people. But that's the arms. appeal. That's the fucking appeal. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I Her uh, see Harold on 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 fucking Saturday for sure. We could do a little uh, little six. I haven't done a six point six six question in a while. I need to do one. I see if I see if I can get some some footage uh, this weekend and talk to some people. I'd like to talk to fucking Necrobesius from fucking Veritron too. Uh, Got to do one with Greg. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. But you know. I think he's got to check with the CEO of Abysmal Lord before he can come on uh, come on the show. You know what I mean? No, man. That's it. Great. Yeah. Centered, man. That'd be great. All right. The, C up. the CEO of Abysmal Lord? Yeah. I'm not, not going to say who that is, but I'm, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, he just he replied back. He goes, oh, bro, I'm in line to see Beyonce. So he keeps <laughs> what he said. What he said. Yep. That's what he told you just now? Yeah, he texted me back. He, he told you he's in line to see Beyonce? Yeah. What he said. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Oh, bro, I'm in line to see Beyonce. Like you he's, lying motherfucker. He's fucking with you, man. Uh, of course he is. <laughs> fucking Grant. Fucking Grant. All right, well, hey, uh, we're going to wrap it up right now. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. DTF this Saturday. My man Harold is going to be there. If you're there, go say what's up to Harold. Uh, he's going to be jamming out all badass with Caveman Cult on Sunday. Uh, and with many other bands, where we found out a lot of Florida fucking contention at this fucking show. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, check it out. Carl. Rise in power. Fucking right. <laughs> Carl, anything you want to add before you say on the way out? Nah, yeah, the DSI show tomorrow, man, 10 p.m. Okay. Yep. Uh, Harold, anything you want to fucking plug or fucking shout out or whatever? Shout out to you and 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 and, and, and buddy right here. Thank you for having me on, man. That's it. Oh yeah. See Hell you. Yeah. See you on fucking Saturday and, and Sunday. There you go. Go check it out, fools. Hey, motherfuckers. Uh, uh, and that's it. That's all we got. So we got to go with the fucking, uh, we got to go with the blasphemy outro again. So, oh, fuck yeah. the best one. Here we go. This one is called Jamila Obeda. Yeah.